Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best AMEDC, and approximately a year ago, I did a video about a micro carry, and I found a bunch of really, really small gear and put together what I would consider a complete carry for my needs. And today, I'm going to revisit that concept. Uh, something came along recently that made me want to revisit it. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But this time, there's a catch. I'm keeping it all contained within an Altoids tin for the most part. I mean, watch, keys, that stuff not keeping it in the tin. Regardless, this is yet another micro carry and let's do the damn thing. So here we are with the micro carry. I originally put all this stuff together and I had my cards in the tin, but they weren't accessible because they were at the very bottom of the tin under everything. So if I had to use them out in public, I would have to take all of this stuff out of the tin, use my card, put it back in there. And it's not something you can kind of throw back in the tin. It's everything's got its place. So I decided even though I could fit them inside here, I put them in a little minimalist wallet. I've talked about this thing quite a bit before. This is actually my favorite thin minimalist wallet. This is the Giltec Raw. So that stands for Rapid Access Wallet. It's very much like the Ruck from Giltec or Rapid Utility Knife. And you just have this, uh, this piece here that's sprung up so that it puts positive pressure on your cards, keeps them in place, and they are very secure. I love this wallet. Um, it comes in aluminum or titanium. Of course, this is the titanium version. And most of the stuff I have today in the, the tin is titanium. So this is actually kind of a themed titanium micro carry, if you will. But the wallet is definitely the Giltec Raw. It's the most minimalist wallet you could possibly get other than like a rubber band. So here you go, that's the wallet. Just wanna get that out of the way. So next up we have the keys and full disclosure, this little thing right here, it's just a shackle and you can find a million different shackles now. They're just everywhere, specifically made for EDC or just the standard D shackle or U shackle. They're available everywhere. You can get them at the hardware store, hobby stores. This is still my favorite and it's from True Utility and it's been discontinued so you can't buy it anymore, sorry but I still really like this one. It's very, very thin, very slim. I got four keys on here. And then this thing is just a tritium glow fob from Glow Rhino. Um, I throw that on there just so I don't lose my keys because they get tossed in bags and down in places and this thing glows all the time. But speaking of why this video came to be and how this flashlight came to be in my possession, Olay emailed me maybe one or two weeks ago and they're like, hey, would you like to check out the X9R? If you're familiar with their Marauder series, these X7R and X9R are their they're Mac daddies. They're the really big, really bright flashlights. I have an X7R and it, I think it's like a 12,000 lumen flashlight, super bright. The X9R is just that on steroids. It's 25,000 lumens and it's like a foot long and very, very big. It's huge. It's a massive flashlight. Uh, so when they asked me if I wanted to check it out, I'm like, of course I want to check it out. A 25,000 lumen flashlight, that sounds awesome. And I go check my PO box and I open up the package and I have this X9R. So this is the X9R cell. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> the cell is the important word that I overlooked. This is their new flashlight. It is two and a half lumens instead of 25,000 lumens. And it is shaped like the X9R Marauder, but it, instead it is this tiny, tiny keychain flashlight with this replaceable battery. So it's not rechargeable, but you can at least get a new battery for it when it dies. I think this flashlight is actually pretty cool. It is not super bright. Two and a half lumens is very, very dim, but I would say 90%, if not more, of my use of flashlights is I need a very, very dim flashlight for seeing around in the dark at my house, finding the keyhole, you know, like you don't need a super bright flashlight for 90% of the use cases. So this is actually sufficient for most of my needs. Uh, and that runtime at that two and a half lumens is 30 hours. So this is actually kind of impressive for what it is. The brightness is not impressive, but the runtime, 30 hours on that tiny little battery is really impressive. And they're really affordable to replace as well. But what I do is I keep these on my belt loop with this. This is the JRW Tough Clip. I've talked about this a little bit in the past, um, but this is a special version of the Tough Clip this is the Carry Commission Topo Tough Clip, but this is actually a prototype because the real one is a little bit different because it is two-tone. There's a gold and kind of a white gray lasering. So you have the 
JRW and the Carry Commission logo is in gold, and then about half the topo is also in gold. Anyway, these will be live over on Carry Commission on July 30th or the 29th if you are a copper tier patron. And I know this isn't super micro for keys, but it is for me, and then this is actually the most happy I've been with my keys ever. And you guys know that I've been complaining about keys since the beginning of time. I hate them. They're the worst. This, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. All right. It's time to get to the business. This is a survival tin from County Com. Obviously, Topo on the top. It actually wasn't intentional for like half the stuff in this tin and in this whole carry to be Topo, but it is. Inside, first thing you're gonna find is a Topo TPT slide. It's my very own. It's got the best MEDC logo. These are actually still available over on Carry Commission. So you can go check that out if you want. But I have some redundancy in here. There's several knives if you wanna get technical. I think there's two on the Mini Champ and then you've got your main blade. But I, I end up using these utility knives a ton for breaking down boxes, and I would prefer to break down boxes with a utility knife, open packages or food prep or anything else with a main knife. So I feel like having one of these in here with a replaceable blade isn't too much of redundancy. I think it feels like a, a pretty good fit, and it fits inside the tin, so I'm happy to have it in here. So Topo TPT slide. There are slimmer utility knives that could go in here as well, like the original TPT. There's a bunch of different utility knives. I have a roundup of the, all the existing ones now coming up. That's my favorite one to date is the Topo TPT slide. Next thing you're gonna come up on is these, the Uncle Bill's Sliver Grippers, just some cheap tweezers. I keep a, an O-ring on them to keep them together instead of their original clip because it's kind of bulky, especially for something like this. So I just use an O-ring to keep them closed, but just like a, I think it's like an $8 pair of tweezers, which seems like a lot for these tiny little tweezers, but these came in handy this past weekend. Eleanor was running down stairs, had her hand on a, a wooden handrail and just got a massive splinter in her finger. We whipped these out and boom, pulled the splinter out pretty quickly. She was a champ about it. But if I didn't have these, I don't know what we would have done to get that out of her finger. So I have started carrying tweezers with me because Eleanor is super accident prone. The next thing right here, this is a pry bar bottle opener from Quiet Carry. It could very easily go on my keys, but it, it, the reason I put it in here is because if I put it under the clip on the pin, it keeps everything pretty well secured. These move around a little bit, but it keeps everything in place. So it's kind of just a placeholder, but it also has a function, uh, really good little Pry tool, and you do have a bottle opener. But this is called the Pry 64 from Quiet Carry. Just a little slab of titanium. That's all it is. Next up, let's talk knives. So in the last micro carry video, I had technically a smaller knife, but I think this is a better small knife. So I had the James Brand Elko in the past one. It's just a tiny little slip joint. And really, when it comes down to it, it's not much better or worse than a Swiss Army knife. Like you could get a classic SD and you're getting about the same functionality. For a primary knife, I just prefer something locking. I carry slip joints all the time, but there are just certain things I wouldn't do with a slip joint that I would do with a frame lock or a liner lock or a back lock. And uh, that's why I picked this over the Elko this time. This is a titanium frame lock, very, very small fifth pocket carry knife. It is the Spyderco McB from McNeese. Just super, super tiny and honestly, surprisingly ergonomic for such a small knife. You've got this little divot here for your finger and you can really get in and make some, some precise cuts with it. It is gonna fail in some of the ways that I would typically use an EDC knife, but if you're trying to stay small and lightweight, you gotta make some compromises. And if I've gotta get a very, very small knife in a package like this, this is the one I'm gonna go with. Now there is another knife that would fit in the tin, I believe. Yeah, fits pretty well actually. This is the HMC or Helia Machine Collective Micro Transient, and it is also a titanium frame lock flipper on bearings. This is a really cool, very, very cool small knife. I think it's considerably more functional than the McB, but it just didn't fit in the tin quite as well, to be completely honest. And uh, I've carried this one a lot, and I wanted to to try out the McB. Spyderco sent this over to me a few weeks ago and I've thrown it in the pocket a few times and uh, it's interesting. I wouldn't say it's my favorite knife ever, but it's surprisingly functional for such a small knife. Anyway, that is the knife and there are plenty of small options, but I think this is the one I would go with in a micro situation. The last video that I did like this, I did the uh, mini pen from Big Idea Design, but after having that and having their mini clicks, 
Hands down, I prefer the mini click over the mini pin. The, the click action is just better than the twist action for me. I had the twist pins twist open in my pocket, whereas the Pocket Pro, because it has a clip, it doesn't twist open in the pocket really. Those mini clicks would just twist open and all of my shorts last summer got ink stains in the pocket. Uh, doesn't happen with the mini clicks, so it is longer than the mini pins, just a little bit, but I think it, it still fits, has to go in at an angle, but I, I just prefer these over that. And uh, I prefer this over a Fisher Space Pin Bullet and just about any other really, really tiny pin. That is definitely my favorite small pin. Moving on to the multi-tool, I have a mini champ in here. And I, I briefly touched on this one in the Academy video. This is a Best Damn EDC mini champ with green topo because of course it is. Well, I don't know exactly when they'll be available, but they will be available in limited quantities. Uh, but I'm really happy to be bringing out the mini champ. I think it's a Swiss army knife that doesn't get enough credit. It packs a ton of tools into a size that you can really forget about. And they're still useful tools. So you have a little file, you've got a small knife, really small knife. I guess this is the package opener, but it could also work as an orange pillar because that's what I use it for. Uh, you've got a cuticle pusher, a flat head with a ruler. And now here's one of the functions of the mini champ that makes this a redundancy. It's got a pin built into the scale. So technically, if you wanted to go even smaller, you could forget the mini click pin and just use the one in the mini champ. You got another knife on the other side. This one's a drop point. You have a bottle opener and a Phillips and then a pair of scissors. Oh, and not to forget the tweezers, which are right here as well. So I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on when these will be available, but the, the multi-tool is the mini champ. The last thing we're gonna talk about down in here, I've included these everywhere. Uh, I just keep coming back to these things because I like them so much and they're cheap. I think these are like nine, ten dollars, but these are monkeys fingernail clippers. I ended up filing off the key ring because I never put them on my keys. But in order for it to fit in the lever gear bit vault in the last video, I had to file it down. So these are just monkeys fingernail clippers. Very, very good clippers. Very small. Almost so small they're hard to use, but they're still functional and uh, really good to have in a pinch. Kind of goes back to that whole reason I'm carrying these with me. Fingernail clippers are, are handy beyond just needing to clip your nails. They're good for cutting cord or, you know, snipping off a loose thread or whatever. They're just really, really useful. But if we're going to put all this stuff back in here, let's see if I can remember how it's done, right? I think we got... It like this. I have it memorized pretty well, don't I? So you got the keys and the wallet, and that is the micro carry. So how do you think I did? Do you think you could do better? I know that I could obviously make this smaller, right? That's not necessarily the idea. Obviously you can always go smaller. There are smaller flashlights than even this. The reason I have everything in here is because I think it's the smallest and still practical. You could get rid of this if you really wanted to. And you could get rid of the pin if you really wanted to. And we'd be dealing with even the, the pry tool. Get that out of there too. So if I really wanted to with no redundancies at all, I mean, shit, if you don't want any redundancies, you could just carry this. So. What I'm saying, my point is that you could always go smaller and more minimal. That's not the reason I did this video. The reason I did this video is more of an experiment to show how small you can go with stuff that's still very, very practical. And this is what I think is a very practical micro carry. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future. And hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you wanna support what I'm doing here on the channel, all the things I talked about in this video will be linked in the description down below. You can buy those things using the links and those are affiliate links. So it would kind of give me a little bit of a kickback and sometimes you can get a little bit of a discount on the product as well. You can also go to patreon.com forward slash bestmedc to support there or carrycommission.com where you can buy gear and merch directly from me, just like this hat. And this is a shirt. This is not a hat. <laughs> just like this hat and this shirt. Also follow us around the web. You can find us in most places at Best MEDC. But with that said, and until next time, carry on. <laughs>
Mm-hmm.